Good morning, Michelle. It's just Oliver here from Pacific Toyota. I'm just giving you the virtual tour of the 2017 Toyota Corolla Ascent hatchback that you inquired on. Now, first off, Michelle, I'd just like to give you a bit of a run through our showroom here at 77 Mulgrave Road. This is one of two of our yards, the other being located at 235 Mulgrave Road. As you can see here at 77 Mulgrave Road, we have a very large variety of stock, ranging all the way, all the way through from our four-wheel drives through to our uh, SUVs, coupes, sedans, and hatchbacks as well. So a very large variety of stock we have here at Toyota and a vehicle for everybody. Now, Michelle, I'd just like to get back to the virtual tour on the Corolla. Now, this is a detailed run through the vehicle just to show you all the ins and outs of the car and the overall condition. If there is anything that does catch your attention, please don't hesitate to let me know and I'll do my best to rectify the issue. As you can see, all along the bonnet here is all in excellent condition, all really clean, really neat and tidy. Uh, there's no stone chips or scratches or, or anything like that that I can see on the vehicle. I think there may have just been a tiny, tiny little brush touch uh, that has been done just on the bonnet there. I'm not sure if you can see. I'll do my best to try and get my camera to focus. And as you can see, there's no, uh, no chips or anything like that in the windscreen. So all the windscreens all in excellent condition. All right, so we'll, uh, we'll just keep running through to the front of the vehicle here. As you can see, all really clean, really neat and tidy along the front. I think there is just there is just a couple little marks uh, here and there, uh, just obviously from little little stone little uh, stone chips or or whatnot. Uh, but obviously, you know, being a pre-owned vehicle, you are going to get um, you are going to get a couple of uh, a couple little marks. But um, you know, other than that, it's all in. Uh, all in really good condition along the uh, along the side of the vehicle here. So, as you can see, we'll just we'll just keep running through just to the passenger side here. And as you can see, still plenty of tread left on your uh, front passenger side tire as well. So, still plenty of tread and plenty of uh, plenty of kilometres left on those tires. All right, so we'll just keep running through. So we've just got the uh, front passenger side door. As you can see, all really clean, really neat and tidy. Uh, there's no um. Uh, no marks or anything like that on the passenger side door and as you can see all the interior all your seats all really clean really neat and tidy uh really good stitching along the vehicle as well there's no one um, no cuts or abrasions or anything like that on the vehicle and as you can see all your floors all nice and clean and all the interior of your front passenger side door as well all right, so as you can see, you just got your uh, speaker there, just your water bottle holder there, electric window winder, and just your door handle just there as well. And just coming through just to the back passenger side door, as you can see, once again, all really clean, really neat and tidy. All your uh, all your windscreens are obviously all in excellent condition. There's no, uh, no chips or anything like that. And as you can see, all really clean inside the vehicle as well. Yeah, I believe you do. Just have some cup holders just there for your back passengers as well. And as you can see, all the floor, all in excellent condition. There's no, no cuts or anything like that uh, on the floor. It's all in really, really good condition. And as you can see, just down below here, you do just have your uh, 12 volt power outlet. I'll just get my phone down there just so you can see. Just a little 12 volt power outlet, just if you want to um, put an adapter in there just to charge the phone or whatnot. And as you can see, the interior of your back passenger door, all in really good condition as well. Do just have your speaker there, water bottle holder there, electric window winder, just your door handle just there as well. As you can see, still plenty of tread left on your back passenger side tire as well. Still, uh, still plenty of tread in excellent condition with those. Alrighty, so uh, we'll just keep running, running through the uh, back of the vehicle here. Just give you a nice view of the back. All right, so as you can see, you just got your uh, Toyota symbol just there, your uh, Corolla symbol just there as well. You do have your, your little reversing camera uh, just on the back of the vehicle as well. And as you can see, all along the back, all the paint's all in really good condition. There's no stone chips or scratches or anything like that along the paint uh, that you can see. So all in really, really good condition along the back of the vehicle here. Just give you a little bit, little bit of a view of the top of the vehicle as well, seeing as I can, um, I can reach. So as you can see, all the roofs all in, uh, all in excellent condition as well. Now I'll just give you a little bit of view of the boot as well. So as you can see, lovely big boot space in the back. And basically, once you just lift up here, you do have your spare tire, uh, your jack just sitting there as well, and your tools as well. 
that uh, that do come with the vehicle just in case of any uh, any emergencies with a flat tire and whatnot. So, alrighty, so we'll just keep running through just to the uh, driver's side here. As you can see, all the back of the driver's side, all in really good condition, all really clean, really neat and tidy. Just got your back driver's side door, all in really good condition. As you can see, once again, I've, I have run through the interior uh, previously, but I'll just give you another view of this side as well. As you can see, all in really good condition. Or well, the back of, your, back of your front seats are all in really good condition, as well as the interior of your back passenger doors as well. And once again, you do just have your speaker there, water bottle holder there, electric window winder, your door handle just there as well. All right, so lastly, we'll just run through just the, uh, the driver's side door. So as you can see, all in really good condition, all really clean, really neat and tidy. No scratches or anything like that on the uh, on the passenger, uh, sorry, the driver's side door. And as you can see, still plenty of tread left on your front driver's side tire as well. Still plenty of case and uh, plenty of tread left on those. All right, um, there are there is just a tiny little scratch just there on the door handle but um look other than that the rest of the vehicles obviously all in excellent condition on the uh on the exterior all right so now that we're inside i will just uh just grab the keys so you do get two keys with the vehicle as well you just got one there another one there as well just turn the vehicle on and as you can see all your dash is all in excellent condition. You don't, don't have any sun damage or anything like that on the dash, which is always good to see. And as you can see, there's no warning lights or anything like that on the dash. So the uh, the previous owner is definitely taking care of the vehicle. As you can see, you just got your um, uh, volume controls here, skipping through your stations or songs, uh, your answering and hanging up phone calls there. Just your mode button, which will basically change through all your Bluetooth, uh, AM and FM radio stations as well. And you do just have your voice recognition uh, just there as well, which will basically, if you say, uh, call this person, it will it will um, call that person without you having to sort of muck around with the uh, touchscreen display. All right, so as you can see, you just got your cruise control settings just there as well. All of your electric window winders just there uh, that control all the four windows. All right, and um, so I'll just run you through the touchscreen display. So you do just have all your radio stations here. Basically just uh, skip through all of those. Um, just go through to your audio. So you do have Bluetooth audio as well. Uh, so you can just connect your phone up um, if needs be. And it'll basically just give you all of your uh, all your trip and everything like that as well. So see that's all your, uh, all your touch screen display. Most importantly, you've got all of your um, uh, air conditioning controls as well. Uh, so you do just have your fan positioning fan speed and all of your temperature controls just there as well now tucked away nice and neatly in here you do have your 12 volt power outlet just there um, just in case you do want to charge another phone with another adapter and as you can see you do just have your uh, USB and uh, auxiliary port just there as well so alrighty so um, as you can see as well we do just have the uh, gear shift lever there do just have your sport mode uh, just there as well, just with your uh, your traction control as well. Two cup holders for the uh, for your passengers and yourself, and just give you a bit of a view of the center console as well. So lovely deep uh, center console uh, can basically fit um, fit a, a few things in there. So alrighty, so I'll just pop out the service history on the vehicle as well. Um, so I'll just start from the top if I can find it. So we do just have our first service done there. On the, um, that one's been done on the 4th of the 2nd, 2018 at 11,585 kilometers. Do just have your next service done there on the 15th of the 11th, 2018 at 24,631. Do you have your next service done there on the 18th of the 6th, 2019 at 36,067 kilometers. And I think the next one is, Just your next one done there on the 18th of the 3rd, 2020 at 44,191 kilometers. Do you have your next service done there on the 25th of the 9th, 2020 at 48,367 kilometers? You do have your next service there on the 7th of the 7th, 2021 at 57,005 kilometers. All right, so as you can see, you do have 63,964 63, kilometers on the clock. And your next service isn't due until, um, sorry, 74,000 or on the uh, 7th 
uh, of 2022, whichever occurs first. So, alrighty, so I'll, um, I'll just pop the bonnet on the Corolla and I will just run through the engine bay of the vehicle as well. So I've just popped the bonnet there. Alrighty, so as you can see, all really clean, really neat and tidy underneath the bonnet. Uh, there's no unusual uh, ticks or noises coming from the engine, which is um, always good to hear. So, as you can see, all really clean, really neat and tidy. Alrighty, so... No worries, Michelle. Well, that is your virtual tour of your 2017 Toyota Corolla hatchback. Thank you.